please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. There's a huge amount of interest about vehicle to grid and vehicle to load functionality of electric cars in Australia. And the answer Geely gave me to my questions about their electric cars will shock some people. But it's really great that Geely has given a clear, precise answer because most electric car brands in Australia are still being really secret and either saying nothing or only giving me and other journalists answers about the V2G, V2H capability of their cars on the basis that we're not allowed to tell anyone about it. Hmm. So here's what I asked Geely. I said, which Geely electric cars, current and future models in Australia, support vehicle to grid and or vehicle to X, sort of vehicle to home, all the other variations. And very importantly, if a Geely EV owner uses their car with a V2G, V2X charger in Australia, will that action reduce or remove their car warranty? Which is really important because this is a completely new car, the Geely EX5. And if people are worried, will they lose their warranty if they use this feature? It's an important factor. So a Geely Australia spokesperson just told me that the Geely Auto Australia warranty does not cover faults or damage that may result from the use of the vehicle other than its intended purpose. Local Geely Auto Australia models do not currently support V2G slash V2X and thus any faults arising from related activity or use may not be covered under warranty. Wow. Okay, so I can understand why a lot of people will be unhappy with this answer and also confused because my friend Scott, who is a Geely EX5, already tried out their electric car with the SIG Energy V2X module and it works. Scott tried to see if his car could power the base load half kilowatt power load their house needs overnight to run things like the fridge and Wi-Fi. So subscribe to see my interview with Scott in the next day or two. Anyway, so why is Geely saying that they don't support it and it's not covered under warranty? Well, this is my interpretation. This is not what Geely is saying themselves. I think that they're being super cautious. They may decide to enable V2G, V2X in the future, but for now, they're a new entrant into the market with limited tech support capability, and they don't want to get swamped with questions about this, which could easily happen if lots of people try and use it. And they want to be super clear about what their warranty covers. So all credit to them. While a lot of people will not be happy with the answer that they gave, at least it's clear and precise. If you buy a Geely EX5 in Australia and you use V2G, V2X functionality with it, then Geely is not responsible for what happens with the use of that car battery in that way. You've got to decide whether you're willing to continue using that feature and take the risk that your warranty may be reduced or removed. Up to you. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.